Welcome along then to Sochi and the Russian Grand Prix, one of eight cities in the world to play host to both the Olympics and a Formula One race. It's a Grand Prix that's proven difficult to crack for anyone beyond the first two rows of the grid in recent years, so let's see if that can change today. Built on the shores of the Black Sea, the Sochi Autodrome is a 3.6 mile tour around some of the venues built for the 2014 Winter Olympic Games. Close barriers may make overtakes more challenging, but with 56% of the lap taken absolutely flat out, we certainly won't be wanting for pure speed. A fitting arena then to do battle at the pinnacle of motorsport. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let me ask you about the new Racing Point driver. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Charles Leclerc and Vettel, Stroll, Albon, Gasly and Daniel Ricciardo, Ocon, Norris, Carlos Sainz and Kvyat, Magnussen, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Roman Grosjean, Russell, Schumacher, Latifi, and Olsen. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. That's a decent start. Good job.
DRS is being enabled this lap, we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Good job, nice overtake. Push now. We're boxing this lap gap to teammate behind is 13.0 seconds. Taken P9. P9 now. now we want to finish the race on this compound the gap to the car in front is less than a second let's try and get past in the DRS zone
Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So let's review the updated driver standings. 
Valtteri Bottas takes the top spot. He's our new Drivers' Championship leader after today's result. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I have to give it to Olsen. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else did a better job today. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.